In this short video series, we will be using Gatsby, and in particular a source plugin for check. We will be building pages for our categories and our products, and we can use a Gatsby plugin to source all of that data when the website builds. And you can find out how to install this and use this on the Gatsby docs. So first let's run npn init hyphen y. Then we'll install the necessary dependencies, react, react dom, Gatsby itself, and then the check source plugin. Once these have installed, we'll next add some scripts to our package JSON. This makes it easy to run our Gatsby in development. We'll then create a Gatsby config file where we can import the .env dependency. And this is useful for mimicking our process and getting access to our environment variables in development. Then we'll export our plugins array. And based on what we've seen in the readme for the check plugin, we need to resolve the actual dependency of the source plugin and then pass it some options. We'll pass it the public key and you can pass your own commerce.js or check API key if you have one, or you can use the one that's in the description below to the public demo that's available on the check site. And let's go ahead and create an env file and that will be used to provide the key to our Gatsby source plugin. Then all that's left to do is run npm run dev, head over to localhost 8000, and if we head to the graphical interface, we should now see that in the left hand side of the explorer, we have our categories, merchant and product queries, all available to us and all of the nodes built. And we can run any number of queries and we can get the responses. And this at this point isn't querying commerce.js directly, but it is in fact just querying the local Gatsby cache. So all of these products and merchant and category information is fetched when the project is built for the very first time.